So I had decided to get my alpaca a friend and uh, he turned out to look like a freaking potato. Oh my God. Wow, that's fluffy. There you go. Bruh. <sighs> oh my gosh, he's so fluffy. It's all right, big guy. You're out, you're good. I know, I know. Oh. Hi. All right, guys, come on. I'm not used to alpaca behavior, so. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now they look inseparable. One is very fat and one is not. So I've gotta have both of them sheared in May. That way it'll be the same length. So every year I gotta get them sheared in May and I gotta get their toes clipped and their teeth trimmed. Now we straight up have two alpacas. It's okay guys. Craig's looking at me for help like this guy's so ugly. I, I think they I think they're doing great. I think they're chilling. This alpaca behind me, the new one, he was with another male. So I don't see why this could be a problem. It's just him and the other male. That man right there, he's castrated. You guys don't know what that means? Does not have any balls. Craig, he does have balls. Here's the thing, is we've got to castrate Craig. Not right now, of course, but he's gonna, it's gonna happen pretty soon. He shouldn't mess with the goats or anything like that just because they're so small, but boys can be boys, you know. So, Craig, your balls are gonna have to go away too. They both have a kind of a place to sleep, and now if you think they can't fit under here, they definitely can. This is pretty big. This is long. This is about eight feet in length, so they will be under this next to the goats. But boys, you should be happy. I'm gonna take you guys on walks. Well, you guys saw what happened yesterday. It's a saber-toothed alpaca. This is our new alpaca. Can you maybe move? Okay. It's okay. It's okay. There's nothing to be afraid of. So this is our new alpaca. Yeah, it's all right. It's okay. When I think of alpacas, that's what I think of. Is that fluffy face right there. Hey, buddy. We have him and we have Craig. This is absolutely amazing. So yes, we now have two alpacas. So we are keeping the alpacas for a lifetime. They live in between 17 and 20 years. This one is six years and Craig is a year and a half. Both of these guys are in love with car rides. So you already know we're gonna take them places like to the store, like Walmart, especially you big fluffy alpaca. Look, see, look at this thing. These things are freaking amazing. You guys don't know what we're doing? We're going to catch a fish for the pond. Okay. Oh yeah. Just kind of popping it. Like see that little grass line right there? That is a, that's, that's a good one. Oh my God. Let's try and catch another one. There's another fish too, but we're looking for bigger than this for the pond. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Dude. Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass. Oh, oh it's a striper. No, it's a striper. No, it's a striper. I wish I could keep this thing in the pond. That is a massive striper. Yeah, this is why we decided to come here. I got one too. You do? Oh god. Double up. Mine's a larger, yep. Mine's a striper, I think. Mine's, I think mine's an even bigger striper. Another striper. Seems to be working. Okay, well, <laughs> that is a, another fish down there. Okay, and there's there's another bass. Oh, that is a large fish. All right, bye buddy, we need bigger. Okay, that is a pretty big bass. Now, two large bass for the pond. Well, this guy literally takes up the whole cooler. Oh, okay. I gotta put an aerator on this thing. So now we don't have just one, we have two big bass for the pond. I think we might do some bass merchandise here, similar to the Believer one. You caught another one? Yeah. Yeah, we caught quite a bit of fish. Let's take this thing home. That's why they like fishing on the street. We got a 29 pound largemouth bass in here. Oh, and there. Not a large bass. This is a smallmouth bass. No, that's a carp croaker. Oh, this is a, a, a large nosed carp croaker? My question is I wonder what the alpacas think of it. No, 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 no. We gotta go through fast. No, 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 no. Oh, distract them. Distract them. Throw it. Keep throwing it. Okay. Oh, what are you? Hey, sweetie. It's okay. Yeah, she was super scared because this one was, she was kind of abused when she was a little kid. So she was scared of everybody. She likes Nate, obviously. She's literally just laying on him. It's all right, honey. And I think she has Tourette's. And Steven's licking his balls. The balls that he does not have. No, Steven. God dang it. God dang it. See, he doesn't understand what's happening. You asked for this. This was not our idea. Yeah, there you go. Crazy. So basically, this water is the exact same water from the pond. Flashback. 
So this fish should already be acclimated and ready to go. I'm gonna pick it up. We're gonna put it in. There's one. There's a few other bass in here. There's one other big one, and then there's some smaller ones. So it's some stripers. No, there's no stripers in here. Stripers can't live in three feet of water. Yeah. He's so fat. That is a. That thing's probably full of eggs. We're about to have a problem. All right, buddy. He is in, and he is good. And now let's catch him with the net and cook him. Hey, sweetie, what's cracking? Oh, yeah, I got you. You're good. What's going on? Laying down in the open. You need your teeth cut. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Look at Steven. 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 Steven's the man here, Mr. Alpaca. I'm sorry. Steven is, Steven is freaking fearless. Now he's eating him. Now he's, now he's eating him. Okay. We're gonna give Nate big credit in this video because he's paying for the minnows. This is where it goes down. Boys, we got some local gas station minnows. Yeah, I'll, we can go around the back. Well, the pond stopped. I wonder why. No way. Shut up. The lights are back on. Maybe because the pond wasn't open. Literally, the, the lights are back on in the pond. I haven't had those lights working forever. Okay, here are our minnows. Look at these sexy creatures. Well, yeah, we got a bunch of minnows in here. These will help feed the new bass because he's not used to like hand feeding or anything. These are what these little guys look like. Drop some in here. But I have a lot of them in here right now. I just like to make like a school. Yeah, and these things are 350 for a dozen. The bass are coming up and taking them. We're gonna take two of them inside. You guys don't know why, you're about to find out. All right, we're gonna take the rest of these minnows in my hand. All right. Oh, what up, Craig? Hey, guys. George. What are you up to, young lady? She doesn't seem too happy. This is a peacock bass related to the bass we have earlier. Just take a quick look at this. Here we go. Well, that didn't take very long. Oh, that didn't take very long either. And he's probably gonna. Also go. All oh, right. Well, they're they're all dead now. That worked. Oh, oh, oh. All right, guys. So with the backyard being the way it is now, I think we do have to get one more thing. I would like to do another pond. So let me know what you guys think would be a cool pond, like a small pond over here maybe. And this could be a pond for these guys to drink out of over here for the ghosts to drink out of. I don't know, but I want to do something like that. You, you know, the ponds are fun, and that means more fish. <laughs> See, this is where all of them eat. I don't want to give any to the peacock. See, we got to distract him. Something else can get it. Come on, distract him. Something else get it. Come on, come on. No, what is, come on. There goes the red tail, he got that. Drop some pieces over here. Flower horn, maybe, maybe you're smart enough. No, he's gonna get it. He's, he's gonna get it. Oh, there you go, that's a little big. Here goes, oh, oh my goodness. Come on, you, it's your turn. Watch me hand feed one, watch this. Got him. I need this water cow to come up. Look at the arowana. Straight down. He just went straight down for that. And the pleco is just sitting there. I mean, he doesn't do anything. Oh my goodness. These things are vicious. There you go. Here you go, buddy. Got him. Got him. That's all I needed. Everything in here has now been fed. Like always, I have a mix of five different types of food in this container. All provides different things for the fish. That's why I did it. I just put it in one big container. So I put that in there and everything that's in here eats. There's quite a few things. There's a quarry catfish, there's a beta fish. The puffer doesn't eat that. The puffer gets all the snails that breed in here and he eats those. Last but not least, hey, what's going on? What's going on? So you guys can see his face right here. So you're probably wondering what that is. That's his hair shaved. Cause like I said, the bunny has been getting shots, but he's been out all day long. If you guys want me to do a lot more videos on this thing, let me know. I feel like the R song lets you know stuff and they never let you know anything. So true. I love this thing. I know we did get a new alpaca, obviously, right there. I need help from you guys to comment a name for the alpaca. Me and Christian have had some names. Like George. Like George. Steven. Um Steven. Oh, wait. oh we are Steven. But yeah, and then the bass needs a new name as well. I think we're gonna go out and get one more larger bass than that. Much larger, because that's just how we do it. But he will be a good addition. We'll take the other ones out, leave him and a way bigger one in. With that being said, hopefully you guys went on to enjoy today's video. If you've yet to join the channel, click the subscribe button down below, click the like button, and click the notification bell. Oh, oh, you want to hit the fist bump? With that being said, I will catch you ladies and gentlemen on the next episode of Fanatic. Peace.